What's up you guys, it's Jose Zuniga from Teaching Men's Fashion and for today's video we're going to be going over 10 wardrobe essentials that should be in every man's closet, no matter what. Now these aren't, these, this isn't going to build your whole wardrobe, of course not. What I decided to do is pick 10 items from our wardrobe that I wear constantly over and over again. Items that I consider them to be classics and things that I think every man should have in your wardrobe. So think of these as foundational basics. So I try to keep them as generalized as possible so it could suit every type of guy out there. So these are items that I think every guy should have at least one of in their closet. So first we start with accessories. The first thing that I think every guy should have is a pair of sunglasses, a good pair of frames that suits your face. I have videos on that already and check out videos from other guys as well so you can kind of see what best suits your face shape. But I do think a good pair of sunglasses, of shades, is essential for every guy. Now, whether it be aviators or wafers, find whatever, find whatever suits you best. You only need one and make sure you have that in your collection. The second essential that I think every man should have, no matter what, is a watch. And this is why I like my partnership with The Fit. Because not only are they affordable watches that I think should be in every man's closet, because the design is so minimal, it works with everything but they're also affordable. And then on top of that, they, they hook us up with an even better discount code, so just our viewers get it even more affordable. So given that I think this is an essential basic for every guy, that's why I love when I get to partner with The Fit and get to get you guys a great discount code because I truly think that a watch should be in every man's closet. It's such a, it's a great piece just to add more style to your collection, to give you that classic traditional touch as well. You know, it's, and it's probably one of the safest pieces of jewelry to wear. A lot of guys don't know how to wear jewelry because they think it could be too much, too outgoing, too loud, but a watch is the safe zone. A watch is something that I think every guy should own at least one. And if you can't afford one, because of course, like I've always said, watches can get pricey. If you can't afford one, try a brand like The Fit. So I'm gonna have them linked down below. As you guys know, they are our partner and they always hook you guys up with a discount code. So I'll have that link below as well so you guys can check it out. But definitely a watch should be an essential. Now that we're done with accessories, let's move on to tops. The first essential is one white t-shirt. If you don't have one good fitting white t-shirt, you're missing out. This thing, this thing will be your workhorse for casual wear. You could wear this with almost anything you can think of. And, a, and I got a lot, because I just did a video on how a t-shirt should properly fit. I'll have it linked above. And I got a lot of questions of where I got that really nicely fitted white tee, which is this one. I actually got this one for Unique from Uniqlo for only $12. And it uses the Pima cotton. Really nice construction, very well built and it fits amazing. You can watch that video to see me talk about it, but you need a white t-shirt. And then on the other spectrum of that, you're gonna need something a little bit more dressy, and that's where I recommend an Oxford. Now, you could go for a dress shirt, but I don't find dress shirts to be as versatile as an Oxford. In Oxford, you can dress it up, you can put it in a suit, wear a tie, you look amazing. You could dress it down with a pair of shorts, you look amazing. And then the final top that I think should be in every man's closet, a polo shirt. There's a no-brainer. Every man needs at least one polo shirt. And of course, I picked up a white one because it'll be your most versatile one. Notice how all the tops that I chose are very simple colors, usually white. White will almost always be your base foundation because it could, you could use it with anything. So it looks amazing. Two types of pants that you guys need. You need a pair of chinos. And I got, the, I got a question the other day, what color is the most versatile or the first one you should have? And if you ask me, I think khaki, tan or light brown, whatever you want to call it, this is the most versatile, the more classic chino. If you ask me, some will argue that it's navy. Me personally, I think you can find you find a lot of versatility in this and to me it's the more classic option and I also say that because you'll have navy jeans as your other essential. I talked about jeans the other day and I think that your first pair of jeans should be dark wash or navy jeans. These are the most versatile you'll have. Every guy needs at least one dark wash jeans. These things you can throw it on with a dress shirt and leather shoes or you can throw it on with sneakers and a t-shirt. These are amazing. Any proper wardrobe will have a dark washed pair of jeans in their collection. So those are the two bottoms that I think are essentials. And now finally, first to start with the most casual and it's a sneaker. You're gonna need one, again, white pair, all white pair of sneakers. I bought these from Grand Frank about two years ago now. 
and best decision of my life. Look at the wear they have already. They're kind of a little bit dirty, but I still wear them like this. Two years later, I'm still wearing these. You can wear these with almost anything, and I think this is probably your base sneaker. If you want one casual sneaker, one good one, that you're gonna be using all the time, pick up something all white. The next one, one dressy shoe. I talked about this already. I think your whole wardrobe shouldn't just consist of sneakers. Have some sort of leather shoe, whether it be a wingtip or a loafer. I picked up a loafer because I use these loafers a lot. So I usually always use these as an example. These are my Allen Edmund Tassel loafers. It's a great option to go the loafer route because it's a little bit more casual if you're a younger guy. And then finally, the last thing, the last thing that I think every guy should have in his collection, one boot, especially when winter season is coming. So at least one boot in your collection is definitely essential. And I usually recommend the Desert or Chucka boot. This is the one that I've been using quite often, so that's what I'm recommending because I've, I've found a lot of versatility in this because they're kind of an all season type of boot. So that's it. Those are 10 wardrobe essentials that I think every man should have in his collection. If you don't have one of these items in your collection, I definitely think you should give them a try. Go ahead and pick them up, pick whatever you think is lacking in your wardrobe, and you can see how much more of a complete wardrobe you will have once you fulfill these basics. So that's it for me in this week's video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, remember to hit up that like up button down below. Also remember to subscribe. We're putting tons of new content out every week. See you next time.